About time we made something clear, sorceress. Yes, high time. Me and my men will manage just fine without the help of you or any other mages. But you, well, without our help, you're sitting ducks for the temple guard. Who do I spy? Geralt? Hey, Triss. See you two know each other. See you two know each other well. I was curious whether you'd managed to find me, Witcher. Your spies tell you I was looking for the Putrid Grove? My skull would be a home for bottom-feeding river fish if I didn't keep an ear to the ground. But please, Putrid Grove? Ugly name for our cozy little hideout, wouldn't you say? Temple Guard tolerate your little operation? Let's say they appreciate the value of a Novigrad crown. Hmm. Manga doesn't seem like the type that can be bought. Anyone can be bought, but like is true, Menga had cost me a fortune. Luckily, he's got officers, and they're mere mortals. Illnesses catch him at times. Other times, they want to catch a bit of diversion. See, Witcher? I've got plans. Big plans. Far-reaching plans to reshape this city head to toe. Ever thought of seeking a seat on the city council? City Council is a puppet troop with a hierarchy of the Church of the Eternal Fire as its puppeteer. Until recently, that is, when Radovid and his witch hunters took the reins. The semblance of power don't interest me. A man with a vision. One day, the so-called free city of Novigrad will be truly free. But before that can happen, we got a riddit of superstition farting around about the hallowed essence of the eternal fire. Nonsense for kiddies. Apparently not. Cheering crowd at the execution. Mostly adults. Any crowd a rabble will cheer to the stench of burning flesh. But one day, folk will understand the eternal fire's naught but a leash around their necks. They call this place the Putrid Grove. But it's the rest of Novigrad that's putrefied. This year's the last bastion of normality, sanity, reason. I'm actually glad someone like you's found his way to our city. Because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. Yours, plural. Yeah, mine. And me friends. But that's a tale for another time. For now. I'll leave you two alone. Because I can see, well, you clearly need it. Geralt, I have a lot of things to take care of in town. I'll be glad to tag along. What's your arrangement? He using you? Helping me to survive, actually. Six months ago, if somebody said Triss Marigold would be working for a Novigrad criminal, I'd never have believed it. Six months ago, Triss Marigold parted with someone very dear to her and had to start a new. Hasn't turned out like I imagined. Come on, let me give you a taste of my life. <clears throat> Madam Sorceress, beautiful as ever. Damn shame to part. Don't fret. Bound to be back soon. I take it you're a Novigrad on important business. Important doesn't do it justice. I'm looking for someone. More precisely? Young woman, who's like a daughter to me. Her? Here? No, impossible. She was here. There are witnesses, evidence. Was hoping you'd heard something. You've been here a while. I need you to help me find something, anything, a trace. I'll do everything I can, of course. Who might know more?
Hello, Klug. Managed to get those magic incense ingredients? Yes, somewhat with uh, difficulties, you might say. I was walking along the canal with a sack full of goodies for you. Looked up and spied a trio of temple guards coming the other way. Get to the point, Klug. No time today for one of your long stories. Wait! A sack full of magicalities and they were coming straight towards me. I don't easily frighten, but uh, I felt a cold sweat on my arse, I did. I'm afraid I had no choice. I dropped the sack in the water. I had to! When asked why, I claimed it contained a dead cat. You shan't believe this, but they believe me. I need that package, Klug. I've got a contract. It must be on the canal bed. Luckily, it was heavy enough to sink. I'm sure it'll turn up if you search. You expect me to pay you, then die for my goods into that ice-cold filth? Well, some causes require a sacrifice. Causes? What about people? For people, same holds true. So, maybe you care to dive in after that sack for me? You win. Stop. Hear that? They've come for us. The fool didn't break until I began to prick his heels. Every man's got his sensitive spots. Interrogated a mage once. Pain couldn't touch him. Tore off his fingernails, crushed his bollocks. Nothing. Turned out, he was devilishly ticklish. I placed a beetle on his belly and set a mug atop it. Damn you, went mad. We were lucky this time, but... You'd best leave via the sewers. The trapdoor's in the floor. Take care of yourself, Klug. city of Novograd. The name actually used to mean something. The very reason so many mages came here after the massacre at Loch Muin. Thought they'd be safe from Radovid's reapers. Instead, they jumped out of the frying pan into the fire. But Novograd stands on top of a mountain of coin. And winning a war takes three things. Coin, coin, and even more coin. Judging by what Klug said, the parcel should be around here on the bottom. Unless the poor man was mistaken. He's been forgetful ever since Manga interrogated him. Seems to be suffering from a persecution complex, too. Current must have carried the sack seaward. I'll swim towards the port. Coming with? Uh, maybe some other time. Don't know what you're missing. Water's thick with pungent oils. Guessing it'll do wonders for my complexion.
find the parcel? Or did you get wet for no reason? Nothing like a refreshing swim in a filthy canal. Found a few fish, a rusty anchor, the carcass of a boat. Oh, and this. Oh, my package. Hope the contents aren't soaked through. Oh, you're a doll. Seem to be in your element. Still remember my elements? How I use them? Come on. Six months isn't that long. It's not like I'm senile. But you do have a history of amnesia. I've recovered my memory completely. Good. That should stop people from taking advantage of you. Someone's been taking advantage of me. I have, for one. I've never even intimated. We need to hurry. Greetings, sorceress. Greetings, Brandon. I didn't expect you to bring company. Triss, you told this man you're a sorceress? Of course. She was looking for work. That's her chief asset. Are you, Triss? I know it was reckless, but competition's stiff here. No one would hire me if I claimed to be a common rat catcher. More importantly, no one would believe such a beauty could be an exterminator of rodents. But I'd prefer you not to tarry and begin. Triss, you and Brandon here. You've agreed a price. We settled on a full coin purse. Brandon and Co. is a serious outfit. We've the largest granary in all Novigrad. Don't much like merchants who flatter with cheap praise before the job's done. That was not cheap praise. I was merely stating a fact. So am I. I want you to pay in full in advance. I'm afraid that's impossible. Then trap your own rats. Well, now I know why she brought you along. Fine, full purse of Novigrad crowns as proof of my goodwill. We need to place these crystals around the greenery, near anything that looks rat-related. I'll cover half the space, you take the other half. Look for evidence of rat activity. Mm -hmm. Thing is, I know what evidence of manticore activity looks like, but rodents? Geralt, we'd both rather be somewhere else. I'd rather be sitting at a royal council meeting. But they killed my king. Look for crevices. And draw things. Once we place this incense, what then? I'll cast a spell and the rats will leave. Can't do that without sprinkling incense? Don't really feel up to looking for rat shit. Stop whining. Looks like a good spot. I don't like that guy. Brandon? I don't either. He's much too fat. Can't help but agree. But no. Notice how he didn't try to haggle? Must really want the rats out. Triss, he's a merchant. He makes his living by haggling. Think I plugged every hole in there. All right. Get ready for some magic fireworks. Once I activate the incense, we'll have a moment to talk. Now we wait for them to scurry away. Interesting method. Never had much luck with rats. Once I hit one with a fork in complete darkness, trying to show off my witcher's senses. Masterful throw, really. Problem was, no one else saw it. How could they in the dark? <laughs> so, what do you think? Rat catcher? It's a long way to fall from being advisor to Temeria's king. I'm just glad to see you safe and sound, and... Reconciled? Knew a man once who reacted to everything, especially adversity, by mocking it. Healthy attitude. Must have lived long. Came a day he lost both his legs in battle. He shrugged, said it was better that way. He'd never feel pain in them again. I understand him perfectly. I know. Thing is, he was lying to himself. I think he just didn't have much of a choice.
You could be right, but only he knows the truth. We're only ever the ones to know the truth about ourselves. Which we share at times with those we hold dear. Even if it's hard to swallow? Even then. Who knows? Maybe one day. So, tell me how Yen's doing? How do you know I found her? You didn't answer my question. How's Yen? She's fine. That's good. Asking about anything specific? Never mind. I got my answer. Well, well. Are lovebirds having themselves a little chat instead of working? The job's done. Geralt, those are... I know who they are, Triss. My friends begged me to notify them if I encountered a mage, sorceress, what have you. Didn't have the heart to refuse. It's a trap, Geralt. This stank from the start. If these boys are here to help us kill rats, they're late. You paid up front and got what you paid for. Not half a room left in the granary. I paid in advance because I knew I'd recover my coin. Such is life for sorceresses in Novigrad these days. I can see that and I don't like it. So here's what I think. The hunters have come, and now they can go. They'll do no such thing. All right, we've talked. Do what you gotta. Just remember, I can't help but get in your way. Heard enough from this horse, son. As have I. Neither is to leave here alive. Kill me. Good sir, no. They forced me. Had I not told them, they'd have set fire to my home, my warehouse. The mage hunters know no mercy. Spare me, good man. Be not like those murderers. Shut up. I should kill you. Thing is, you'd be no good to anyone but the gulls as a corpse. So you'll live and pay us double. Now. Fine. Your coin. Now, get. Thanks, Geralt. No need. Glad I could help. You know, I've been thinking who might know something about Siri. And I just got an idea. There's an Oniromancer in town, Kareen Tilly. Very capable, supposedly. Never trusted in Dreamer's abilities myself. Kareen's been very effective. You should at least try. She's taken a job close by. Follow the canal, away from the fish market. The house is near the first bridge. Its owner, Dijon Kier, is a rich banker. Not coming with me? I've got some things to take care of. Another rat-infested warehouse? Not exactly. Nothing even remotely satisfying. Such are the times. Thanks for everything. See you, Triss. Mm-hmm. See you. How do I find you if I need you? I live in the bits. Head up the hill, past the fish market. Stop by. Be seeing you.
Just passing by, wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merit, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Kareem Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Kareem is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian, or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed... disturbances. Led me to fear the home might be haunted. What are the symptoms? Oh, they vary. Giggling in the night, and furniture moving about in the attic, and last week... Well, you shan't believe it. I found human feces in the parlor. Not interested in what's going on inside? Seeing it for yourself? I'm a banker. Cursed homes scare me. Do you know how a haunting can affect property value? Point of fact, Corinne requested she not be disturbed. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter, call that my whim. The second sword, is it in case the first one breaks? Smart. Wake up. It's just a dream. Wake up. The doll. The attic. All right. Time to check the attic. Put it down, please. That's blood! Don't spill it! Please! Stop! Go away! Leave it!
Strange stuff. A doll. Drawing shows it lying in a cradle. Maybe I should find one. Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. Oh joy. A riddle. Saw an oven in the cellar. Maybe I'll find another clue there. Scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer, so I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then... And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and acts like one, trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these red... Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. 
I just pretend it is, make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty, so I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with, so I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes? 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 Do that and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you. Very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently. Though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. The truth is, we're already dependent on the White Bounds. Economically. Sir, uh, I beg your pardon.
move on. This is the trough that you, the bigger drunk, I insist. But you truly do me an honor by granting me the privilege to let you... Uh, help some fellas out, Master. We're a bit of coin short another round. Cause we're comrades, see? Witcher, ain't you? We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Witches earn more. Old villagers pitch in. Lords out with their purses. Ladies do like with their legs. Guess I've been to the wrong villages. Dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Come on, don't make us beg. What's a witcher for, anyways? It's to help men in need. You boys look tired. Probably ought to go home now. Well. How long we've been drinking now? Two days. Well said, Master. At home we will go. Burgers and Burgesses of the free city of Mordor. Yes, handsome. What it be? What are you serving? Not hungry, not thirsty, but I sure wouldn't mind a round of Gwent.
I believe I see a Rachel hiding seeks to push you there. Ram, ram, time and again. Some food slime kill for some fun. Looking, Mr. Fancy Pants. Dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. Siri was orphaned during the Second War with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy, and took her to Kaer Morhen. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina, couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose, she lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day. Wearing a dress, and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? No. Let's continue. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker. The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one in legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. 
It symbolizes Siri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left him the rosemary and thyme in their will. The rosemary and thyme? Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. Come back, you stinking stadges! All we wanted was... Don't give a flying fuck what you wanted. Get! I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth. <laughs> Gear up in the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? A local color. I wasn't they going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. Fucking come on! Me! Leave it at me! Piece of wood. Yeah, almost like we never left Berg. I'm pleased. That went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods ordained. Ages, pal. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian Lager standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. <sighs> Got some problems. Rather not burden you. Fuck off, Geralt. Need to spill your guts to me now. There's a few things. Let me guess. Triss? Yennefer, good chance? Triss and I talked. Cleared some things up. As for Yennefer, well... So you found her? Ha! Need to tell me all about it. I will. Some other time. 
Got something a tinge more important to take care of now. Meaning? I'm looking for Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> we have a wee problem then. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. I just fell returned as you saw. Expecting to come home to your hot like a boar in some cold ale, and what do you find instead? A shite storm! Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bombs. Have no clue what happened. Hmm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. Aha! A note from a grateful muse. Reading someone else's letters. My visage red and hot. I plunged into purest ecstasy, imbibing its nectar. Your dexterous digits on my soul's yearning cords. Hmm. Ten barrels of Toussaint Dry. Five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no! That's exactly what we're looking for. It's his planner. Huh. <laughs> Dandelion and planning? Good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll just... my half, you interrogate the ones on yours. Should you? Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door.
still here. Looking for something? Ah, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers might have hauled something off for pawning. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly, keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A Baroness within reach and he settled for a chambermaid? Dandelion's not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah, guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, examines it from all perspectives. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling him Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh. Truly perverse. She <laughs> did a kind of half of it. Called him a stallion once. That's the fool took it as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the reins into her cupboard. Ho <laughs> ho! Poor bastard fled out the window. Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's her. Threw flower pots at him. Guess soul flames never die. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf. Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs what Rosa Var Atre named her Guihir. Well chosen, eh? Her dad's an of guardian aristocrat with the Imperial Legation. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric, but we Rosa preferred swordplay. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? More than one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire her next victim. I mean, instructor. A figure most rare, her nature duel. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Ah, uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. Dare say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. Why? You see, elven beauty's like a young Beauclair wine. Whereas I prefer vodka straight up. Well, know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. Oh, it's hard to light a pyre in this weather. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out his grey head, not your concern. coin and leave. That ain't how it works. Vespula's to pay or be taught a lesson. Already given her a verbal reprimand. Now go before I teach you a lesson. Come on. Gold's gold. Thank you. Oh, thank you. To think there are men who help a stranger out of the kindness of their hearts. 
Not entirely out of kindness, and you're not entirely a stranger. What are you... Oh, I know you. You're that witcher took Dandelion out whoring. Gerald, right? Not Gerald. Geralt. Oh. Dreadful sorry. Explain something if you don't mind. You say I took Dandelion out whoring. So he said. Claimed I was his one and only. But he fell in with the wrong folk. You and that dwarf who always looks like a cow licked him. Said you two were a bad example. Wine, women. Song. He picked that habit up from us too. Gotta have a word with him. What do you think? Where could Dandelion be? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back, saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. This woman he was with in the harbour. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ha! <laughs> Horvia, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle, even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Ah. Uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. I'm a friend of Dandelion's, looking for Elial. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, down your socks. You, Elial? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought. Thought Elial was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, oh, so it's that. Wait here. Any better? So you're... Elihal. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. What happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at. But I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd, as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Hmm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. 
Although, indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks flaccid cock. I know this is none of my business, but why do you... Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. I'm a Redanian countess one day, a dockside thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm -hmm. Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment? Must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. <laughs> Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards.
Wild hunts take you all. God, it's a bright your air so great, I. Started this war, and you've gone. 
Corsicle. They's the ones violating the pool the first. That's not in it. Excuse me. I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside. Class is in session. I'll wait. It won't take long. It turns out he'll not come You're after You're great like my grandma! Why not? A rat bit him, and he's caught a fever. Jennifer Vindeberg, Purdy and Machines won the grill. Perhaps you're not talking much after all. saw Dandelion recently. Oh, yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems? No. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. Maybe... No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Found a poem Dandelion wrote about you. Portrayed you as an unusually talented individual. Really? Did he mention my poetry? Horses have always fascinated me. I've always longed to extol their noble beauty. Did you see any of my work at Dandelions? Mere exercise is true, but I'd be curious to know what you thought of them. Uh, no, no. Didn't see any. Gee up! A snakely whip rose skyward. Gee haw! Crack! She reined the beast in. The stallion danced betwixt her thighs. Lava bathed its chinny chin chin. Sorry, don't know much about poetry. Thanks for your help. Farewell. Don't be shy now. Look, it doesn't cost a thing. There's plenty to behold. This here is a collection of wonders that belong to the mage Eremas. A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. How do you get a hold of these? Never heard of a mage willingly parting with his treasures? No one asked Eremas his will. He was burned at the stake a fortnight ago. Strange they didn't burn his stuff with him. 
Witch hunters let you resell it just like that? Why wouldn't they? These are common goods, some valuable only as collectibles, perhaps. All right, I get it. These items aren't actually common. Rumor has it, each is an enchanted key. Rumor happened to mention where to find the locks these keys open? Sadly, no. What if I knew you could hardly expect me to sell them? Where did Aramas live? Had a lovely residence south of Oxenford. Badly damaged now, as he made the hunters pay dearly for his skin. Show me what you have. Matters less controversial, wouldn't mind playing a few rounds of Gwent.
statuette of a man. It wasn't carved, but produced using magic. I ought to ask Triss about it. This Baronet's love Let's Villa. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is riding out. Be gone. Geralt of Rivia at my doorstep? Surely this is no chance encounter? Greetings, Baroness. Greetings, General. You're right. I'm here for a reason. There's no mistaking you. But for etiquette's sake, Mary Louisa Lavalette, an Imperial General and a Witcher meet, and know each other. Surprising. We've met before. And how? Imagine this, Louisa. The Emperor desired a chat with the Witcher. I, too, was fortunate enough to meet him then. Hmm. So Geralt of Rivia now works for Emperor Emir. Interesting. Has Var Emery sent you to rid Novigrad of monsters? Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. My maidservant. I'm afraid she's currently at the home of my dear friend Patricia Vagelbud. Perhaps Geralt could accompany us. He could speak with Molly at the races. Is that something you'd consider, Witcher? Care to partake of some sophisticated diversion? Well, if Molly will be there. On our way then. We've arrived. My father owned a similar estate in Bruges. As a young girl, I'd travel there often to ride. Shall we look at the horses? Do you like horses, Geralt? I guess so. Called every horse I've had Roach. The Grey Mare is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vol. Grey's a nice color. For horses, too. My coin's in the Black Stallion, Nemrot, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised it didn't salute you, General. Know anything about the Chestnut or the Bay? The Chestnut is Thunderbolt, a pure blood Retanian, gallant steed, but too headstrong for my taste, difficult to control. And the Bay hails from Zericania. Lord Zavolta acquired him recently. I know little about him, though Zericanians are reputed to have incredible stamina. Is Molly a horse? Pardon? I did come here to see Molly, after all. Patience, Witcher. She ought to arrive soon. I asked Molly to join us as soon as she was done with her chores. She shouldn't be long now. All depends what you asked her to do, my lady. But I don't really have a choice. I'll wait. Seem to know your horses. No is not the word. Morvran's a true expert. I find them to be far more honest than men. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win and I shall give you my finest saddle. Made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. Why not? Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. Well said. So, which steed do you choose, Witcher?
Radovids encamped nearby. Redanian Chestnut might want to impress its king. I'll not ride with you, but I shall bet on a steed. Nemrod will win, no matter the rider. Cantarella for me, then. I see no point in delaying this. Let's begin. A beautiful victory! Thanks. For one for whom every horse is a roach, you carry yourself exquisitely in the saddle. My congratulations. That is yours. Now, could I talk to your chambermaid, milady? Ah, oh, yes, Molly. That is why you came here, after all. The portly young woman. That's her. Speak to her. And you must find us when you're ready to return to Novigrad. We'd be delighted to join you for the journey. Another drifter in from Tamaria. I'm Molly, my lord. Wish to see me? Call me Geralt. Geralt? That Geralt? The one Dandelions rescued time and time again? Wouldn't be here if not for Dandelion. Told me all about your adventures. How he'd ready you for battle with his songs. How he tamed the Cairn by playing his lute. I meant that literally. Dandelion's why I'm here. Came to ask you about him. Know where he might be? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. The Baroness don't approve of our acquaintance. Says Dandelion's a good-for-nothing layabout. Can you imagine? But... <laughs> or maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl. You do realize Dandelion doesn't have a sister? Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they've different fathers. Mm-hmm. Different mothers, too. Maybe. But you could see he cares for her. Looks after her. The way he carried her packages and... Know where I can find her, Dandelion's sister? I know. Whenever I ask Dandelion when we visit her, he'd grow all quiet and then change the subject. Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why do you need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. He said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles, and he'd sing me arias. But I've not seen him since. Thanks, Molly. Wait, before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful! Thanks, and good luck to you on your search. Yeah. 
Ah, Geralt, there you are. Shall we return together? Gladly. It's a long way to Novigrad. Road ought to seem shorter with some company. I'd say the same. Well then, let's go. Thank you for your company. Likewise. See ya. Just this morning, my printer came back from the market with news. Some mysterious murders happening in some house. Your Greta's got the imagination of a drunk troubadour. She never she lied about serious murders. <laughs> Driving in slippery the bag as quick as a tom cat. You're crammed out the hole enough to get you. What do you want? Rosavar Atra is expecting me. Supposed to give her lessons in swordplay. Come with me. Miss Rosa awaits. Why don't you realise what you've got yourself into? So too. Miss Rose has got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grips the sword. Another drift of it. Grab a wooden one! Take care, not follow me. clearly went out of his way this time. Wood, to start with. I must know your work. Actually, your sword play instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? Guards aren't up to muster. Let me right in. Just had to tell them I was here to teach you sword play. I told Father they're a band of imbeciles. But if you're not the instructor, then who exactly are you? Have you come to rob? Kill? Speak! Neither. So what do you say we stay calm? I came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. Certainly 
might be one. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Sorry, gotta say no. Schedule's packed just now. As you wish. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix-up's mastermind, Edna Varatra, the greatest mischief-maker north or south of the Yoruga. Wait a minute. Mean to say Dandelion mixed you two up? On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Naturally, he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Calm down, ladies. No poets worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen. I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen that? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Dandelion act any different lately? Notice anything strange? Strange? Not really. It's no use, Geralt. She's so enamored, she'd hardly notice if he turned into a werewolf. Edna! What? You needn't pretend he followed convention. Remember when he took us to the cemetery? Rhetoric lessons in a cemetery. Unusual even for Dandelion. We set out to visit the graves of celebrated Oxenford professors. He ended up quizzing us about Margrave Henkel. Who? Eccentric old coot. Died recently. He'd apparently been an important and generous patron of the arts as a young man. What are two young Nilfgaardian aristocrats doing in Novigrad? Dying of boredom. Papa's a diplomat. He also has many business dealings in Novigrad. He's a member of the Trade Corporation. Takes us along everywhere he goes, and must then find us new tutors in each spot. And so in Novigrad, the task fell to the poet Dandelion. Rosa's betrothed. Edna! who Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. This woman. Not a local, right? Hmm. I seem to remember him praising her melodious Kaviri accent. Makes sense. He referred to her as Kalonetta a few times. Bizarre names are common in Kavir. Gotta ask Zoltan about this Kalonetta. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well, can I expect any more lessons in future? Sorry, Rosa. Afraid I can't at the moment. Farewell, then. Oh, payment for your time. Every three moves. 
Wouldn't be so pale if you How you go with this? Yeah, I was a bit of a have one without the other. Then I don't want them. told me Sarah had been responsible for my nightmares. I decided to see if the devil's as scary as they paint him, or her. I came in to find not a fiend, but our little Sarah. And I can't say why, but we took a liking to one another immediately. Long ago, to isolate themselves from a world of beasts, humans began building cities. But since beasts prowl within stone walls as well as they do outside them, this did not allay human fears. The truth is, walls guarantee no one's safety. The place where you lock yourself in and lock all else out, that's not your home. Your home is sometimes a place you travel long and far to find.
in Pinewood? Of course not. Winch dragged me some pints so I'd make her a cradle. Boat business not booming? Not well at all. Ain't no fish. Heard you're a good boat right. And an even better card player. Wanna play? Always ready for a round. Try to win them all, but you won't.
last, but you needn't get your breeches in a bunch. You again. Up for a round. Why not? Oh. You're a man well traveled, so tell me. He lost. You again. Up for a round. Always ready for a round.
rules say the card's mine. Oi, tis indeed. Cards, believe you're good enough to try your luck against Haddy. Folk laugh at him because he's young and a bit dim, but word is, he weren't afraid to beat the Baron himself. Where'd you come from? It matter where the grub's from, as long as the bowl's full. My fault we ended six feet under the birches. Why do you have to play the hero? The witch. She told me I were to educate you. Greetings! Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. Greetings! Wouldn't mind if you...
Greetings. Wouldn't. I get my lush to use his app. My man went to see the witch again. She's enchanting him. Or it's hard slaying that hard. They're going to me man work forever getting tired. You play Gwent? They say Haddy's dim, but that just ain't true. Haddy don't know how to plow or sow, nor catch no fishes. But he sure can play cards. So I, Haddy plays Gwen. So let's play.
done last. It happens. Take your praise. Come on, Roach. your nerve.
other not personal like though I've seen ye many times I've a gift I see the future yours as well but not for free I guess I don't ask much if you've a bite to eat wanted to ask you I I play Gwent and I we can play for the prize card in my collection. You a mind reader? The good gods did bless me with some precognition. I say some, because it's selective like, only applies to mundane matters. Not a bird will have a shit on me, but all my foresights never helped me win a Gwent. Let's lay him out. Sales lot. 
I know where to find the finest slippery jacks this fall, but how to play and not lose, that I'll never know. A beautiful win. Take this card, you deserve it. Know of any others who play Gwent? You've but one opponent worth your while in Velen, in the village of Midcops. They calls him Haddy. He's a tyke, barely a handful of summers to him, but don't let that fool ye. back. Here. Thank ye. A fine offering. Well worth a foretelling. <sighs> All right. Let's hear it. I see a white wolf. He looks on as the great viper bites and devours the silver lily. He wants to spring. He wants to fight. But the serpent is quicker. The lily must perish. That's not the future. Lived through that. And you probably heard about it in some ballad. My third eye grows foggier the older I become. But if you bought me some dragon's root... Rare plant. Rare indeed. But it did once grow in a cave southeast of here. Fine. I'll see what I can do. if it can really help the old man see the future.
you're back. Got what you asked for. Thank you. Now I need a moment. I see a wolf striving forward towards a solitary tower, midst a blizzard. He follows the swallow, yet the swallow does not heed the wolf's howls, soaring higher and higher, for it knows tis its last flight. As do others say, so shall it be. Look for the signs. The world will perish amidst ice and be reborn with the new sun. Reborn of the elder blood of hen care of a planted seed. If means prophecy. Leave me be. Go. Go now. White Wolf! Welcome to the Passiflora! Oh, no sign of recognition in your eyes. Greetings, sir. Uh... Don't fret. I'm sure I look quite different from when we last saw each other. Uh, which was? Oh, eons ago. You and Master Dandelion appeared, two halflings in tow. What a smash they were, the little chaps. We recount that night to this day. So the, uh, staff hasn't changed since then? Oh, of course it has. It does so incessantly in this business. Burley Berthy married a merchant. Ella struck out on her own. And you'll likely find Cerise praying at the temple. I alone remain. So, shall I summon the girls? Just remember, this is a decent establishment. Pause to yourself to start with. 
and our girls are well mannered. The range of subjects they discuss in detail, I myself find it daunting. I'm curious, you play Gwent? Certainly. Though for high stakes exclusively, of course. In fact, the game would be exceedingly boring without the risk. Up for a round? Why, yes. Let's play. to understand how I lost that. Oh, I believe this card belongs to you now. Know any other players willing to stake rare cards? 
In Novigrad, Siggy Rubin's collection is famous. You really should challenge him. Will we receive any restitution for our investment in Tamara, now lost? I shall pretend. I did not hear that. <laughs> <laughs>